how to install Red Hat Enterprise Linux in my system. Cool. First of all, we just need to download the installation media. In my case, uh, the adventure start uh, connecting to the Red Hat portal um, and select the Red Hat Enterprise Linux. As you can see, there is a predefined list of uh, some media that works for the most common PC, but in my case, my computer is just an Apple Macintosh that runs on the new Apple Silicon uh, system. So let me scroll it down and find it out the Red Hat Enterprise Linux for ARM64. This is the architecture of my computer, and then select version 9.3, that is the latest. Actually, the code name is called AH64. I can choose between uh, binary DVD, that is uh, the full, uh, the complete version of the operating system, or just uh, the boot ISO that is good enough for just starting the process and download all the software via CDN. In my case, I decided to start up to download the all binary DVD that takes. Uh, a little bit of time because it's 8 gigabytes that need to be downloaded from the content delivery network. Cool. Now let me start up the virtual machine or I can install directly bare metal. Let me select the ISO file and my virtualization software, in my case VMware Fusion, already detected the operating system, so let me name it accordingly and I can also tune a little bit, adding more CPU resources and uh, memory from my system. In this way, the installation will be a little bit faster. Let me start up the um, virtual machine and select Install uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux from the menu. The boot up is not going to take uh, a long and we will be Welcome by Anaconda, that is the official Red Hat Enterprise Linux installer. This uh, graphical user interface is going to guide us around all the process of uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux uh, installation. We just start with a localization that, uh, so we have all the list of a lot of languages and uh, uh, location supported. In my case, I'm okay with English and United States. This is the installation summary, so we need to start setting up a root password. In my case, I allow also root SSH login. The installer also uh, evaluating the strength of the password as uh, you type it down. I'm also creating a DevOps user that uh, is able to connect as administrator with uh, another password. Another important step is actually partition their drive and I'm okay with uh, automatic decision of uh, partitioning of the installer. This is a very basic installation you can customize with all what you need. Remember to authenticate to the Red Hat network so you can manage your system from the Red Hat web console. As you can see, I'm registering my system and in a blink of an eye, it will be registered in the system, in the Red Hat console. Cool. Now I've, I'm ready to go. I can choose to install the system from the provided media, in my case, my DVD, because it's full of all the necessary resources. I can also customize the base environment and choose also some additional software from the selected. There are four different types uh, available. Server with graphical user interface, server, minimal install and custom operating system. In my case, I'm okay with the default version. And uh, now we are good to go. We just need uh, to wait and the Anaconda installer is going to configure our system for us. It might take a while because a lot of different packages need to be installed in our system, but we don't need to worry about There are more than 1000 different packages as you can scroll down and this is just one of the default 
uh, installation option. You can customize all the details. Uh, the more you become an advanced user, you would like to add more, more parameter or if you have a specific option. But these are good options for the majority of people. Cool. Now the system is configured and we are ready to hit the reboot system button. And so the system will be rebooted and it will start up from the local hard drive. The first boot of the newest operating system it might take a little bit longer than usual because a lot of first uh, um, first boot operation need to be performed, but you just need to wait and in a couple of uh, minutes or seconds you're gonna appear the list of user and the request of a password. In my case the DevOps user is here and typing the right password we're gonna get the welcome to our Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 tour. As you can see, there is a quick tour that also gets us more familiar with the newest UI. And, but the, one of the key elements is this activity that pop up to all the application. One very important is the settings and bump into the about section. We can check it out, the exact version of our operating system. As you can see, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.3. Cool. Now. The sky is the limit because our system is fully configured and ready for any fun that you want. I can't wait to hear your success story and have a great day. Yay!